Okay, another question on my final exam. Here we are going to find the area of this shady region. And we have a polar curve, R is equal to cosine of 3 theta. Well, notice we have 3 and we have 1, 2, 3, 3 petals right here, right? The truth is, when you have an R number here, you will have the same amount of petals right here for the whole graph. And when you want to make the whole graph, you don't need to go from 0 to 2 pi. You just need to go from 0 to pi. That's enough. If you go from 0 to 2 pi, then that means you actually run the graph twice, which is you know, double counting. That's not good. So an easy way to do it is that, well, let's get the area of this, this, and that. And since this, this, and that, they're all the same, we just want one of them. So we can just divide the whole, divided by 3. We can get the shady region, right? So here we go. Let's integrate from 0 to pi. This way, you can actually get the whole graph. That's it. It's not 0 to 2 pi. Only when you have an even number here, such as cosine of 4 theta, then you do graph it from 0 to 4 pi. And in fact, if you have cosine of 4 theta, you end up with 8 petals. But maybe that's a topic for another video. So just remember, add, you can just go from 0 to pi, and then you get whole graph. Okay. And then you have to remember the formula for the area of the polar curve, right? The polar curve region. You do one half times r squared, and you put this down, of course, which is cosine of 3 theta, and you square that. And then, of course, let's put down d theta. This gives you the whole area, this, this, and that, all together. But you don't want the whole thing. You just need one piece. So we can just multiply this by 1 over 3, and you are done, right? However, if you really insist to figure out the theta value here and the theta value here, so you can actually end up this part only, this is how you do it, right? Notice the graph right here hits the origin, and to do so, we are going to set r to be 0. The origin is where the r is 0. So I will just write this down for you guys. r is cosine of 3 theta. We are going to set this to be 0 because we are back at the origin. And you have to ask yourself, cosine of what will give you 0? Well, the first input has to be pi over 2. But the input right here is not just theta, it's 3 theta. So this implies you need to have 3 theta being the first possibility is pi over 2, right? Cosine of pi over 2 will give you 0. And then the next possibility is, well, it's like this. That's pi over 2. The next possibility is right here, which is 3 pi over 2. And of course, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to get to the negative numbers. Pass D is enough in this situation, right? But anyway, first situation is pi over 2. The next situation is 3 pi over 2. And then the next situation is 5 pi over 2. And then the next situation is 7 pi over 2, and so on, so on, so on. Yes, they are just the odd multiples on the top, right? The odd numbers on the top and you have the 2s in the denominator. And of course, you want to solve for theta, so we divide everything by 3. So we get theta equal, divide this by 3. So you get pi over 6. And then let me just write it as 3 pi, and then divide this by 3, so we get the 6 in the denominator as well. I know I haven't reduced the fraction, but it's OK. It's prettier this way, because the next one will be 5 pi over 6. The next one will be 7 pi over 6, and so on, so on, so on. Now, the truth is, you can actually just use any of these two, right? any of these two, like the success, like, uh, uh, what's that called? Consecutive pair, right? Because when you hit the origin, and then the next time you hit the origin, you have a loop. Right? So that's pretty much what you can do. But if you really want to have this pedal right here, this is how you do it. Well, when theta is 0, cosine of 0 is 1. So in fact, the first angle for you is right here. This is when theta is equal to 0. And then when you have pi over 6, you go from here, and then you end up with the origin. Right? But next, when you have 3 pi over 6, in fact, you actually go right here, and then you have to go back to the origin. So right here, 3 pi over 6, that will get you back to the origin as well. And then next, from 3 pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6, you actually go travel this loop right here, and you do close that loop. So you just want this two, 
right? That's for your data values. And we'll have the equal sign right there already. So for this right here, we just need the integral and we need to go from three pi over six up to five pi over six. And then of course the input is pretty much the same. One half times cosine of three theta and then square this guy and you have the d theta. And for this integral, you don't have to divide anything because this calculate precisely just the area of this right here. All right, and you can do whichever way that you want and I'll tell you guys, this is approximately 0 0.2618. That's the area for that. And that's it.